are with uh, one of the busiest promoter, if not the busiest promoter, Gary Shaw. March 12th, uh, co you co-promoted uh, Sergey Zinzorik uh, to take on Sergio Martinez. That's why we're all here. What are your thoughts? It's going to be a very, very tough fight. Uh, Sergey Zinzorik is moving up in weight. Uh, however, I believe he's the best 154-pounder in the world. We're going to see if he can be the best 160-pounder in the world. He's got a great jab and he's fast. He said he's got a great jab and with Sergio, who likes to dart all over the ring, uh, how important do you think the jab is in that fight? I heard you say in the previous interview about Styles and making fights and everyone agrees that. How do you think this battle of Southpaws plays out in terms of stylistically in the ring? Well, I can tell you this. Sergey Zizidrick won't run from Sergio Martinez. The question is, will Sergio Martinez run from Sergey Zizidrick? That story will be told on March 12th. Uh, you're coming off a, uh, a big fight a couple weeks ago in, in Michigan with your guy Timothy Bradley uh, winning a, a pretty handily against Devin Alexander. A lot, I think more handily than a lot of people thought. Um, what are your thoughts a couple weeks out? It looks like uh, you you have a keen eye on Manchester, England on April 16th, I believe. Sure. I'm looking to fight Amir Khan next. I've spoken with uh, Richard Schaefer of Golden Boy. We're basically on the same page. And hopefully well, that fight's going to get done very quickly. That's a fight that would be in America, I would imagine? Yes, for sure. Um, there were some published reports this morning about uh, Hopkins fighting Pascal, possibly again in in Quebec in May, and possibly Dawson maybe fighting maybe an Andrade or a Diakonu. Uh, what can uh, you add to that? I can add that if HBO makes it worth my while to step aside, um, and I am guaranteed by the WBC, the winner or they'll be stripped and will be the champion, and that's possibly to be done. So you basically, a couple weeks out or in the days after the, the Hopkins-Pascal fight, you, I mean, you took a hard line stance, you know, for your fighter, so you maybe, you, you were able to come off it a little bit, maybe... There are, there are things that make you come off your stance. If, if they're not done, then I'll take them to court. If they are done, we'll be fighting on that card. You just had a very exciting showbox show this past Friday night with two two tremendous fights. The first fight with the, your cruiserweight uh, Latif Coyote uh, against Ainuzi. Uh, a little tougher fight than you probably expected. Yeah, Ainuzi fought the perfect fight against Latif. Latif needs to go back to the gym. He needs Freddie Roach to spend more time with him, teach him a little more how to cut off the ring, what you do when a fighter runs from you, but you know, Latif is a great fighter, great puncher, an exciting fighter. There were reports that you were, you guys are already eyeing a title shot maybe against Marco Hawk. Uh, yeah. Maybe you feel now that maybe you need another two, three fights possibly? 100%. Uh, I know a, a couple websites yesterday, BJ Flores started calling out Coyotes. Is that a fight that would interest you for him? Yeah, I'd, I'd love to knock out BJ Flores. That, that would interest me for sure. And then uh, Louis Franco, uh, another great fight, a uh, couple anxious moments there with, with, with Miranda. Well, I know Miranda, I represent Miranda, I knew it would be a good fight. Uh, Louis Franco only has nine pro fights. The question is, does he have too many amateur fights? That story also is still untold. You think maybe he uh, is in the same boat of Coyote a lot during the broadcast? They were talking about title shot, title shot, title shot a lot sooner than later. And now, uh, with being in that tough fight, much like Coyote was, being who the featherweight champions are, and those guys uh, between Gamboa, Lopez, Chris John, even, you feel a guy like that's ready for, for this? Yeah, look, he's had about 450 amateur fights, so he's in, in Cuba. He, he's ready. He's not going to learn that much more by by fighting pro fights. It's time he go all the way. Like like we said at the top of the interview, you probably are the busiest promoter out there. But what can we expect in the next couple months? Expect what you always expect from me. Great fighters, great fights, action, fan-friendly fights. And, and actually, a question I get, I've get been getting a lot. Any update on, on your favorite dog? Oh, Petto? Well, I, uh, when I was up at uh, Golden Boy, I asked them about fighting Canelo Alvarez, maybe in Mexico. So we're having those discussions. So, um, are his problems in the United States? He or? still has the problems in the United States. Gotcha. Yes. Well, Gary, like you said, always fan friendly fights, and we expect more. March 12th, Sergey Zinzurich, Sergio Martinez, thank you. Thank you very thank much. You.